My name is Debbie Cornwall and I am an American conceptual documentary artist. I'm interested in the way power functions and I'm interested in finding ways to visualize and illuminate and ask questions about invisible systems. So my first project, my first book, was about um, the U.S. Naval Station in Guantanamo Bay. I had a first glimpse of sort of the state performance of power. That led me to my second book project called Necessary Fictions, which was about the war games, but also about a society in which um, fact and fiction are increasingly blurred in civilian life, and in which we resort to fictions increasingly to manage difficult realities. Now, I'm thrilled to be um, developing Model Citizens as this year's winner of the Prix Elysee. The project is looking at how staging and performance and role play have come to inform our thinking about citizenship in a violent country whose citizens can no longer agree on what is true. So now I'm not only looking at institutional exercises of power and fictions that are imposed, but also in the ways in which civilians perhaps buy into those fictions, perform them themselves. How do we make sense of life in a violent country? How do performances and fictions um, and playing roles help us either make sense of our violent culture or justify the violence or distract ourselves from it? The first picture that comes to mind when I'm asked if there's a particular story or image um, that captivates me about the work on show at Photo Elysee now um, is the photograph of a woman's hand on the back of um, a man wearing a pinstriped blue suit. And she's got long nails and a diamond engagement ring and she's of a certain age but her index finger nail has broken off. And she's touching this back closely enough that the fabric is a little bit twisted. And there's this, for me, sense of trying to connect, and yet uh, something a little off. There's an imperfection there, something poignant, I think. And it happens to be a photograph I made in Miami outside um, a political rally in support of former President Donald Trump. There are these political celebrities who come, like the man wearing the suit. Um, and there's just this reaching out for connection. And I'm, I'm just interested to figure out what's happening in this community. Um, I'm seeing gestures of comfort, juxtaposing those with gestures of control from other kinds of locations that I'm shooting. With the hand on the back, I see this gesture of comfort, this attempt to connect in the context of what is really a very violent movement, a movement um, that advocates winning at all costs, America first for those who are already citizens, um, and a demonizing of those who have the audacity to try to join us and cross the border, um, a violence against women, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so there's this disconnect um, between the performance of connection and joy um, and the celebration of patriotic Americanness with the violence underlying that movement. So for me, this one photograph um, raises a number of those questions. I'm looking at the United States, but I think the themes that I'm engaging with are relevant in Europe and internationally. What I take for granted as my foundation is that we're all performing, right? Um, we present versions of ourselves on social media. Governments deploy information to their own ends, disinformation or so-called fake news. So we can no longer look at a photograph as evidence of a truth. I take all of that as given. So what I'm trying to do in my photographs, placing them in context, is to distill information and juxtapose different kinds of scenes that invites the viewer to ask questions about what's really happening. 
what is being performed, who is doing the staging, to what end are we playing these roles, and how do these disparate elements connect.